coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Sambo, Jiu-Jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not completely. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart, with big differences in height and reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The Gentleman! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimago Meda! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet, the other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Big call for the man. Now we'll get back to range. All right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying. Because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one.
man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. South position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Three minutes to go. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Metal. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. 25 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Nice kick landed there by Nurmagomedov. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here or Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Lands the right hand. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Now he touches him with the left. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice right hand. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Under a minute to go. Tie now. 45 seconds remain in the round. Caught that kick there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice strike. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they set. Yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Got the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice move to the body. Just getting in with that. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. The same thing this round. Your ground control is unbelievable. I've never seen somebody with such control down there. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns. Switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Big kick lands. 
stuffs the takedown, no problem. His right hand punches the clinch. Big leg kick lands. Mako met on strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Keep that Keep that well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent. Mago Medov gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the mat, there it is. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, close your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use your. Gets up again here, but hurt. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. An outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nervago Meta. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top. Nermago Medov's going for an arm here. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 49 seconds of round number two. Join the winner by a tap out, Habib the Eagle Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it to me. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. 
Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.